Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a kind of vacation vlog packing video. I'm going to be showing you everything that I am bringing on my trip. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, which is just my name, links are always down below. I have been kind of talking about it a little bit, but for my graduation trip, my mom and I are going to Cabo in Mexico, which is so fun. I've heard so many people on YouTube and celebrities talk about it, so I'm super, super, super excited. I think it's going to be so fun. So we're going Tuesday to Sunday. And yeah, I just wanted to show you what I am packing because for most trips, I... Well, when I did my Destin packing video, that wasn't going to be flying or anything, but obviously we're going to Mexico, so we have to fly. So I will show you what um, I am bringing. It's back there on my bed, all packed up. And yes, I am not checking a bag. My mom and I are both just bringing carry-on suitcases and a kind of purse tote as well. So yes, so that will kind of, hopefully this will help you kind of see how much you can pack and what to bring and yeah and if any of you have any suggestions on things that I should bring that are not in my suitcase or that I don't show you or in my carry-on or whatever please tell me because I would really 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 love to know some kind of bonus or secret things that maybe I should have so yeah let's go ahead and get into it and I will show you what is in my suitcase okay so starting off with the outfit that I'm going to wear on the plane, I have a basically Victoria's Secret duo. So I have this t-shirt, it's just white with a little black and white striped pocket. It's kind of longer, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell, but it's actually kind of a long top, so I usually wear it with leggings. And I recently went and got a bunch of the Victoria's Secret yoga pants because I'm obsessed with them and they were on sale and I got a bunch for college. So. Yes, these are the cropped legging, and these are just the pink ones. Um, they kind of have, like, piping down the side. So, yeah, pretty simple, but comfy and cute at the same time. Okay, so this angle is a little bit awkward because you can't see me, and I'm, my body's just kind of in the frame. But, um, yes, yeah, so these are the two bags that I'm going to be bringing. This is the suitcase that will go up in the overhead compartment. It is a cow pack. Um, I got this at Marshall's. My mom and I both got little carry-on bags at Marshall's. This was $50. It's a hard shell, and yeah, it has nice wheels and the puller on the side, um, which is kind of tucked under here. And yes, this has multiple compartments, which you will see inside, but I just wanted to show you the outside. Um, it is bright green. My mom has a kind of like Chanel-inspired black and cream. But I thought this would be nice because, well, I love green, but also it would be very easy to spot. It's not just a plain black suitcase. And then, you guys have seen this a ton, this is my Victoria's Secret pink, pink bag. It's like a nice, um, pretty large tote or kind of purse, but I can easily put this underneath my seat. And this just kind of has everything else that doesn't fit, but also the stuff that I'm going to actually need at my seat. So, I will open up my suitcase. Um, it just kind of folds open like that and show you what's inside. Hopefully you can tell that there are two compartments and this is actually a zip compartment so there's clothes under there as well. But yeah, so it's bright orange on the inside. Very crazy, I know. But so I guess I'll just kind of start showing you what is inside. So there are two compartments here and I guess you could really put anything but I believe they're intended for shoes. So. I have a pair of little sandals in here, just basic brown sandals, um, nothing too crazy, but those fit pretty nicely in there. And then in this side, I have a hairbrush and a comb. So yeah, I just wanted those to be in there because the bristles won't get caught on anything and I won't have to worry about hair getting anywhere, even though I clean them out. And this is a zip compartment. Um, I guess most people would probably put like their bras, underwear, socks, things like that in there, but I don't really have the need to put anything there at the moment. So there's this little dividing pouch and in there, I just kind of rolled up all my underwear and a little sports bra and put that in there because it tucks away nicely and they're kind of separated. 
So I just have a pair of little shoes. These are kind of like faux Keds from Target. They're just a gray color and inside is just socks. So instead of wasting space, you know, you have some, you know, storage in there. I have some bathing suits. I'm bringing two bottoms. Oh, these are my favorites from Victoria's Secret. They are a chevron and they have the ruched butt. They're so flattering. But also these nice teal ones. And then I have three tops. So I have a little strapless bra there, just kind of sitting there. But I have the matching top for the chevron that's a strapless bandeau. And then I have this one that matches the teal one. So it is just a halter with this gorgeous like braided detail in the back. I love that. And then this one from Target that actually isn't done up, but it's like a kind of like crop top-ish like um, light sherbet orange one. And then I just have tops. So I have like a little crochet top. I have um, a floral crop top, another top, just a bunch of flowy ones, teal, pink, and then I have a few dressier, nicer tops. So I have this one from Marshalls, which is just kind of like a polyester little one. Um, this one that's also from Marshalls. This is one of my favorites. I love that. And then this little kind of loose sweater from Francesca's that I really like. Yes, I have two little makeup bags. So this bag is just a Sephora bag and it has my cosmetics. I'm sure some of these things technically should go in the bag with my liquids, but whatever. So I just have my makeup, nothing too exciting. You guys all know which is in there. And then I have this striped bag. I use this all the time. It's from Bath and Body Works a long time ago. And I have just a little shower puff, um, a lip balm, like tweezers, a little pair of scissors, deodorant, the basic stuff, my toothbrush, some um, Q-tips, and I need to put in a little thing of toothpaste, but that'll go in my liquid section. But yeah, I need to get that, and a razor. So those will just go in here. It has plenty of room. And then over on this side, I have kind of my dressier things, and then my pajamas and shorts and whatever. So I have a pair of heels. These are my favorite. I wore these for graduation. Oh, they're my babies. I love them. But yeah, so those are for my nicer things. So I have kind of like a cover up that can be worn as a dress. I have a strapless floral dress, a really cute romper that I really like, and a striped kind of midi length dress from Francesca's. And then I have a pair of yoga pants, a just t-shirt, um, another t-shirt with my eyeshadow palette wrapped inside because I don't want it to break, but I don't really want to put it anywhere else. But yes, and then I just have some Sophie's and then I have a few pairs of shorts. So I have these shorts, kind of a little bit nicer. I have a nice pair of black shorts and a pair of high-waisted ones. These are from Target. I absolutely love them. They are so nice. And obviously it's gonna be hot there, so I have mostly, you know, hot weather stuff. Then I just have a hair towel, nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, so that is it for this little section. And then I kind of just nestle everything back in there. I mean, it's not too bad because I actually have plenty of room. I could put probably a bunch more stuff in here. But like I said, this is a carry-on, so I'm gonna have to lift it over my head. And we all know I'm not that strong, so I can't, well, I can't do this right now, but ugh, there we go. But yeah, so I can't have a humongous suitcase that I can't lift over my head. But yes, yeah, so that is it, and then I just zip it up. And that is it for my suitcase. Okay, so here is my bag that I'll be kind of keeping at my seat. And it actually is not very full at all. So in this pocket over here, I just have my phone and I'll probably put a charger or something like that, probably a water bottle, a few snacks. I know I'm gonna bring a few packs of M&Ms, pretzels, little snacks like that. And then in this pocket over here, these pockets are huge. I have my quart sized, Back. I have like 
a Bath and Body Works lotion. I also have the shower gel that's in there. A hand sanitizer, a lip balm, a face scrub, a shampoo. Um, I have some like hair samples. I have my acne um, treatments, a cleanser, a moisturizer, and yeah, I think that's all. Not and then the rest of the stuff will be used for like entertainment. Um, so I just have a Victoria's Secret pullover because who knows if I'll get cold or not. Um, I have a purse loaded with stuff, which I will show you in a second. But I also have a book. Um, I haven't finished the book that I'm reading now, but oh well. I'm going to start this one. This is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. This is going to be a movie come August. Um, if you've seen a movie, um, there have been trailers for it. It has Chloe Moretz in it, so it's probably going to be good. But yes, yeah, so I wanted to read this um, on the plane so I can give you guys a review before the movie comes out. And then we just have a few magazines. Um, I'm sure we'll get more on Monday. But yes, so we have the OK and Cosmo. So those will be read on the plane or by the pool or whatever. And other than that, I really don't have a lot in this bag. I'll probably put a stuffed animal or something. But um, yeah, so I just have this purse. If you guys recognize this, um, it's because I think I did a what's in my bag with this, but it is just a Target bag. I'm not going to bring my Rebecca Minkoff bag just because I don't want it to get stolen or lost or damaged. So, yes, but this actually does the job. It will be fine. So in this front little section, it has a zippered pouch, which is really nice because I can fit a lot in there. But I have like a pack of gum, a pen, some band-aids, a... Um, little mirror and a tampon just in case. And then in the zippered compartment, I have a pair of Victoria's Secret socks because planes can be cold. And then I have my sunglasses and my glasses, glasses. I think I'm going to wear these on the plane, but I'm not wearing them right now. And so I will put the case in there. I have a little flashlight because why not? And then in the zippered compartment, I just have some headphones. So this just kind of houses all of my little essentials that are kind of too small to just be floating around my big bag. So yes, I will be carrying this around when we go on our different um, adventures and whatever. So yeah, that is it for this bag and my luggage. So yeah, there was everything that I am bringing on my trip. Like I said in the beginning, please tell me if there's anything that you think I'm forgetting or anything that you really think I should bring. And it can be general, just really any flying um, or traveling items or things that are specific to Cabo or Mexico that you think are essential. I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way. My voice is now trying to go away because I've been talking for probably like 25 minutes straight. But yeah, I'm sorry it was so long, but wanted to show you everything. So yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I'm sorry for the no videos, but I will have more soonish, maybe, I hope. But yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.